Darren Grimes took to Twitter inciting desecration of a Jewish man's grave. That man was Karl Marx. Grimes is a right-wing pundit who was recently employed by GB News. We're going to take a quick look of a clip of Grimes on his channel, Reasoned. I don't exactly feel enamoured by the display of Karl Marx's statue in Hampstead Heath in London. It's a bloody enormous statue dedicated to a man whose ideology of spite, of envy, of class warfare, which has been used to justify genocide in the name of achieving the perfect communist state with a little peppering of anti-Semitism as well. Do I now have the right to march upon Hampstead Heath, suitably dressed, latest smartphone in my hand, suitably dressed in the latest vegan-friendly garbs, to attack the statue of Marx because I happen to believe, which I do, and disagree with the despicable politics of that man. I don't believe I do have the right to do that. This is what I'm so genuinely flabbergasted by and so genuinely concerned about what this case actually stands to suggest. I think it's a travesty of justice. Aside from the falsities of his opinion on communism, after all that is his opinion and that's fine, we're not here to talk about that. Karl Marx was Jewish as I said before, so it's strange to claim that anti-Semitism is a tenet of communism. This continues the trend of the last few years in which we recently witnessed Emma Watson being called an anti-Semite from an Israeli ambassador for putting out the mildest support for Palestinians on a social media. Darren, let me be clear, there is a difference between a statue of a slave trader in which the good people of Bristol and also my hometown took direct action. It's worth noting that the council knew there were concerns, but they decided not to do anything about it. Despite the fact that a specific department exists within the local council to ensure community cohesion, which obviously the statue agitates said cohesion, as a matter of fact, this was used as an argument in court for the defence. You mentioned you don't have a right to attack a grave, which you certainly don't. You probably should then delete your tweets where you incite people to do so, even if you're tweets are in jest or, you know, not to be taken seriously, people will. There's enough red scare anti-communism rhetoric within the West for people to do so. People have tried on multiple occasions. Thinking that desecrating someone's grave is not only definitely illegal, it's pretty gross. And since you seem to be aware of anti-Semitism, it's mind-blowing that suggesting a Jewish man's grave should be vandalised, however seriously you may be, doesn't at all seem problematic. The reason Marx's grave is in London is a cause for celebration. Britain took in Marx for political refuge. As I said, even if you're not serious about inciting vandalism, though your tweets are still up at this time, it's correct to say that a person's grave should be protected, but a statue shouldn't. What happened in Bristol is quite literally justice in its purest form. By being denied any assistance from the local council, Forcing the people to do something drastic means it was completely justified. What concerns me is your lack of thoughts for those that take offence, especially people of colour. That in today's society, slave owners are in essence still celebrated through inanimate objects. The Colston Four were rightly cleared and their efforts with those alongside them provided a history lesson for those unaware of Edward Colston. He was generally regarded as a philanthropist but the owning of slaves and the thousands that died because of him have been whitewashed from history. 